Hey everyone, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 here today on the channel. We're back with episode 4 of our Cross the Dnieper modded Ukraine campaign. Alright, here today, it's happening. <laughs> so, uh, the fight is here. It is August 2021 in this alternative timeline. Unfortunately, they attacked a full year early. Maybe the Federation was emboldened because not just Donetsk and Luhansk rebelled, um, Kharkiv did as well. So at the moment, we're just going to try and hold the front line. Oh no, Mariupol has fallen. Unfortunately, the boys in the steelworks couldn't hold on. So at the moment, we're just trying to hold <laughs> as long as we can. Uh, we seem to be better doing better in the south. Yikes, we've lost 74k. We've taken out 62 of them. And they are pushing towards Kiev, unfortunately. So, we do have an abundance of infantry. Yikes, our logistics is going to absolute shit. We just need to try and hold as as long as possible for and wait for western support okay we seem to be doing better in the peninsula here holding on those tiles but it's great to see our small submarine contingent doing some convoy raiding okay so now we might get encircled here that's something we have to keep an eye on so how this mod works there's sort of offensives back and forth so i think just trying to bide our time we just basically need to survive we don't need to be doing crazy offensive actions so at the moment unfortunately we're just sort of trading on the border we have air support here can i reallocate it to the north we're having some issues oh we want to go with yes we went with battlefield support let's go with fighter Ace chance. Uh, nothing else we can do here now either. Oh, unfortunately, they've pushed over the um into the southern part of the country. Hang on, we're gonna have to reallocate this. So basically, we've got 29 divisions just trying to guard the southern coast, but we might not need that anymore if they're not gonna amphibiously navally invade. I thought there was a high chance. So we need to stop this pocket from growing. So obviously using the terrain of Ukraine, we can always just cross over the western side of the Dnipro and hold there. But I think the longer we can hold on to this part of the country, the better. Okay, so unfortunately like in real life, they're doing quite well in the south. We just need to stop this from growing. Okay. Mm, they're starting to push me down here. We haven't done any offensive actions either, by the way. Okay. So they were gaining a lot of momentum in the north. Oh no. Maybe we haven't done enough. I was actually fighting regular Federation regulars. Oh no, they've just lost 100k then trying to push. Okay. We have 800k manpower. Let's drop another bunch here. Probably just trying to attach them to the south. Not everyone is like... Fully equipped. Uh, victory in the north. Yeah, just trying to get bodies on the front. Okay, I think we've stabilized this. October now 21. So I wonder if we can't do tech tree stuff because... It happened a bit earlier. We can't go with NATO standard yet. We couldn't finish that. Now they're at war. We can't go with any of this stuff. So I guess we need to go down to the fight is here stuff. Yeah, all of this is now stopped. Damn, there was some of this stuff I would have really liked to do. But I guess you can't do everything. I prioritized other stuff. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't even do the lockdown stuff. <laughs> Oof. And we weren't able to fortify a lot of that. Alright. Let's go with the fighters here, so they'll give us some defense. So let's go with this. So let's start working down that part of the tree. 
And then we're going to be able to get all this western support. Nice. Okay. Let's go with the Battle of Kiev. Uh, yep, let's mobilize the National Guard. We're definitely going to need them. Whoa, why did they move? There. Wait, what? Okay. I know these are new divisions. Oh, okay. So they are taking a lot of tiles and territory. But we've slowed them down a bit. Okay, another four convoys have been crushed. Oh, these guys are probably done in now. They've been completely surrounded. Okay, let's make sure we root out those collaborators. So, although they pushed in the south quite well. Alright, here's this. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh my god, how many units did we just get then? What the hell? 76. Well, that should seriously help this southern push. Okay, so they actually aren't moving over the border from... Belarus, which, which I feared. Okay, and they also didn't do any paratrooping or naval attacks. So I think maybe putting the National Guard to the north is probably the best bet because we've got a lot more of our key victory points up there. We have 407 divisions now, which is more than them. If we can basically hold this until the winter, we might be able to delay them essentially because it's November now. And then ideally go on a counter-offensive a bit later. Okay. Let's go take back the north. Yikes. So basically near Zaporizhia and Kharkiv Oblast, we're losing a lot of territory. Nice. We are still effectively still convoy raiding against them. We still hold Kherson. We haven't pushed back over the river yet. We still have Tokmak and all that territory down in the south. Okay, so we can probably go on a, a little bit of a push here now. Let's set up some front lines. But the longer we wait, the better it gets for us. So basically, they want to try and wrap up this war as quickly as possible. The longer we wait, we get more support they don't. So, let's just set up some front lines for when we... and offensive plans when we do need to attack. We have 1.1 million manpower. Let's try and lobby the West for more... material and aid. Okay, so we've lost 235k. They've lost 300 or so. Okay, things are starting to stabilize a bit. I think I might just redo all of this because it's getting a bit crazy now. I think I can make this a bit better. Because we didn't even need to hold them on that Belarus territory. Do I need to push over the river yet? The thing is, you want to use it as a last resort. Another six convoys. So, so far, the Federation can't seem to combat our fantastic submarine wolf back <laughs> that's causing a lot of damage. Hopefully we can try and take out some of the Black Sea fleet. So, let's get Zaluzhny to hold the north. Uh, Budinov can hold the south. Ruslan can hold the peninsula. Um, now, do we set a fallback line? So, hang on. You know what? So, we'll make a front line and we'll make a fallback line over the river. Okay, I'm drawing this terribly. Because the thing is, if they do a push, we don't want to be 
caught moving back over the river. We want to be already over there to some extent. So we'll make a front line and we'll draw a fallback line over the Dnipro. So there. And we'll do the same with you. So we can hold Hassan. So where's Zaporizhia? So it's on the other side of the river. Okay. And Nipro is further north. Okay. Because we're going to get maybe surrounded there. So some of already our units here in Zaporizhia or Blast have actually nearly pushed back over the river. Yikes. It's not looking good. <laughs> November 21. I just didn't know how well their forces would perform so far against like the DPR and all these other smaller oblasts, but against the regulars, yikes, they're pretty heavy hitters. So let's go with something like that. Um, and then make a front line here. Okay. Just need to constantly redraw this, I think, the better. And let's make you here. Perfect. Beautiful. And then do the same. And then we've just got to fight like hell. On that side of the river. Can't give them an inch. But already looking at some of those national focus stuff that we have access to. Beautiful. Bonuses. We're going to be able to get in the future. Okay, I think we're good to unpause now. So now that National Guard has come in. Okay, that's a lot better. That looks a lot more secure. They've launched more offensives against us. So, we wanted it. Okay, so some of those guys have got caught. Okay, things have stabilized in the north. Here in the center, things are not looking good. We just got to watch out for this encirclement down here. Alright, so they are really on the border. Uh, we're losing a lot of that. Okay, so now we're nearly going to get cut off. Do we retreat? More convoys getting crushed. Okay, now we've been split off there. We're still on the other side of... Who's on here? We just don't want to get caught. Uh, so, what's that? Melitopol? Tokmak? Okay, so they've actually split us there. Do we try and get back over this side? Still trying to lobby the west for more support. Still continuing on those convoy raiding. Oh, they're trying to intercept our navy. Okay, back down here. Uh, where do I want to go with now? Stabilize the front's probably not a bad idea. Oh, God. Oh, that's a big push there. Okay, things are doing a lot better. Melitopol, unfortunately, has fallen. December now, 21. Okay. Bunch of traits we need to divvy up. Just We just need to bide our time. Okay, I think we need to get out of here now. And use the natural defenses of the Nipro. Target pontoon bridges. All that jazz. Try and make it really hard for them to cross. So they're focusing mostly on the east. We weren't threatened at all from the north. Maybe that's just game limitations. Makes sense. But so far... Haven't made it easy for ourselves. <laughs> It's not an unsalvageable position, but it's it's not good. There's a really big push there, though. Okay. Oh, my God. There's a big push there, actually. Um, How am I going to get... How am I going to save this? <laughs> oh, no. We are crumbling a bit. 
It's now January 1st, 22. So, they were a lot more keen to start things off earlier. So now, hang on. Yikes. They just like break through so strong. We have a bunch of manpower in reserve, so we're, we're sitting good that wise. All right, let's redraw this. So at the moment, we're not having any threats in the north, and I don't necessarily know why. So I think we'll get Zaluzny to hold it, and I guess we try and hold that. Or do we need to push further back over the river and just fully give it up properly? Yeah, nah. Fall back over the river. Oh, he's only got 27. So something like that. We'll allow them to get tiles. You try and go something like this. Um, I probably only need like two armies up here because we're not really getting threatened up here for whatever reason. We could just basically throw everyone to the south. We can't allow this push for all intensive purposes. Like you might be better off just to move that up north. Or maybe defend this area here. And then sort of make it go up that way. Yeah, that's a bit better. That'll do. So you can do both. They're flooding in a lot of soldiers there. Uh, these 40 that were allocated in the north. I think... Zolution in another army is fine. We probably should send you south. Yeah, let's reallocate these 40 units that are sitting on at the top of the border. They can head south, and then we'll send the other 72 up there. Okay, let's just reallocate our front line. Because now that they've overextended there, we might be able to get some back. Okay, so some of those guys just fled over the river there. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I think we bided our time enough. Uh, let's go with war industry to help out with our civilian factories. Oh my god. <laughs> so we basically need to stop this push. As we head into January 22, we haven't capitulated just yet, but it's uh, not looking good. We still seem to have air power in some regions, so maybe let's try and reallocate the air force down here to help us out in the Zaporizhia airfield. Okay, we've lost 316k, we've, so they've lost 70 more k than us. His display picture has changed. Alright. Um, let's continue to go back into the NATO arms purchase. We've got a bunch of political power, so... Uh, do I want trucks and stuff? Sure, let's just try and get whatever we can. We can increase our conscription. Um, that's a lot of bad traits, so I don't think we're going to do that just yet, because we've got one million manpower to spend. And we've already lost heaps, and it's only been essentially year one. Um, can we get our steel stuff fixed? So what do we got here? We are looking good, like, anti-air-wise. It's just basically infantry equipment I think we need to focus on. Not having... A high volume of steel has been an absolute pain. Okay, so maybe we'll just try and focus on getting more rifles where we can. Okay. Um, Jeez. <laughs> We're probably 60% towards capitulation. They haven't called in some of their allies as well. Okay. So, unfortunately, they're going to get caught, crushed, and surrounded. We just need to try and stabilize this front. And then we'll eventually try and do offensive actions when it's in our favor, but we just need to survive, to be honest. A little bit of a pocket there, trying to push. Okay, so they are still trying to cross 
the knee pro successfully. Ugh. This is intense. <laughs> this is going to be so, so close. Hope we can come back from this. Okay. So we're doing a lot better just in the north. But maybe we did all right. Maybe we could have just got absolutely flooded in the south. And we've actually held them there for quite a good amount of time. Okay, so they are really flooding troops over there. They've got to be careful not to overextend here, though. All right. We might need to redraw this again. It's much easier when you can draw front lines and don't need to use the defensive lines. Right. So, let's redraw this. Okay, thankfully they didn't just, like, parachute in. That could have been really quite costly if they did. Okay, let's try and reform this. But so far, we haven't done any offensive actions just yet. We will. We'll do our own counter-offensive and try and retake some of our territory. But... Oh, no, wait, they took her son. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, no. Wait, why did a convoy get hit there? Okay. Alright, so, if I was to launch an offensive plan, can we take Zaporizhia back? Because their supply is going to be not the best there. Alright, there we go. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. So, it wasn't the deliberate plan, but... They pushed over the river. and oh, they've extended a bit. Hang on. We might be able to throw them back. Uh, maybe we can do the same in Hassan. Okay. So this is our first sort of offensive actions. Let them overextend over the river, and then we can hit them. It seems to be working. Lull them into a false sense of security. Because we're, at the end of the day, going to have far superior supply than them. Okay, let's redraw this again. Let's drop another bunch here. Just get more bodies on the line. Yes, yes. They're not going to have the best equipment, but it's fine. Okay. This is um, a challenging mod. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I'm just trying to play it on the, the rip. I'm sure you can min-max it a bit more, but so far enjoying it. Okay, there we go. Right, okay. Just need to save that pocket there. Oh, nice. We're really pushing them back there. Okay. Yeah, the north is not really... Not much is going on. Yeah, how are our convoys getting hit there in the river? That's so bizarre. I guess they've moved some ships up. Okay. Here we go. Nice push here. Doing a bit better in the south in some pockets as well. Okay, here we go. Nice. So they pushed over the river from Zaporizhia, and they've really overextended. Um, could I get Zaluzhny to do a push in the north? He seems like he has an advantage, so let's do it. Okay. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe focusing on the south is a bit better. You can tie it with national focus stuff, but... There's, like, specific time defenses you can do but for now we seem to be doing all right not even using them so bear with me right let's reset those uh let's make sure we go on aggressive because when i do initiate an attack i want it to be in higher i like to like go for it i want it to be like a blitzkrieg i've got a bunch of traits here that we haven't get divvied up in a while we've neglected sure let's just spend a bunch of this whatever um we seem to have pretty good entrenchment anyway, just because of the numbers we have. I think technically we have more divisions with them. Not high quality, but by numbers. Ironically, we're probably using more of a Soviet doctrine <laughs> gameplay-wise, rather than um, what we've sort of trained for. Maybe we need to do a hybrid of the both. Okay, uh, let's just try and get whatever we can. Okay, so things are looking a bit better here. Lithuania is continuing to invest. Okay. So although they pushed over the bank, doing a bit better here. 
Okay, they're starting to push in the north. So, Budinov and Ruslan are doing okay. Um, okay, we can get BTRDs in. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe just like anti-air stuff, maybe? Oh no, just getting better quality uh, BTR-80s. Oh no, actually no, let's get with... Oh, God, we haven't got the upgrades there. Yikes. Oh, nice. We're doing really well. We're probably about to throw them back over the river. We're currently getting more Western training with the Brits and the Australians as well. Operation Kudo, mate. <laughs> I've heard of that. Uh, okay, so 390. Oh, okay. So it's a 100k difference. Nice. There we go. Oh, wow. Throw them back into the sea from whence they came. Oh, right. oh my god. There's a bunch of divisions there. Perfect. Oh, my god. That's what we need to do, I think. Use the Nipro to our advantage. Okay. Just the main thing is just not to capitulate. The longer we can survive, the better. It's going to get more to our advantage. We don't need to be offensively going after them just yet. At the end of the day, we're fighting a defensive war. Okay, there we go. But we didn't make it easy for ourselves. Not having... Uh, Kharkiv. Okay, now we're March 22. So it's like a month after the actual invasion. 420. So we actually can just purchase a bunch of equipment. Okay, now we're seeing at about 78 equipment supplied, which is significantly better. So we were better off just to drop them. Like we were down at the 20s and 30s at one point. Nice. The fall of Kharkiv, what? Oh. Oh, I think they, um, okay, so that's actually Federation Cord Territory now. Right, okay. We're getting convoy raided there, which is so bizarre. So I guess they cored it. Interesting. All right, we've pushed them back here. So they've got no control over the river. So we need to just constantly redeploy that. Budanov's offensive was exceptional, actually. But unfortunately, Nipro is not under our control. And same with Zaporizhia. Okay. Oh, we nearly pushed them back here as well. Okay, okay, okay. Things are looking a bit better here. As you push into April. I live in Australia. All the seasons are flipped. <laughs> so I can't remember. So I guess this is autumn. Um, okay. So we haven't really done much offensive actions in the north. Here in the center, we're doing a lot better. Yeah, so I think we bait anything over the river, let them overextend, hit their supply. Oh, make sure... Oh, hang on. We don't, make sure we don't get encircled here. So many tiles here to defend. Okay. Things could be worse, but... So far, we've managed to, once we get to August, survive our first year. They are starting to fully conquer and annex that territory, though, and incorporate it. I think they have a lot of it. There's a bunch here in the south. Oh, no, they've actually fully incorporated all of it. The three oblasts. Okay, so what happened to those units then? Have they just been incorporated straight in? I, I guess they have. What happened to those DPR and LR troops? Anyway, um, probably got to wind things down here today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode 4. Stay tuned for episode 5 coming out the exact same time tomorrow where we're going to try and push and uh, have our own counter-offensive. Alright, guys, like and subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. My name is Ben Simsy. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.